Hi, I'm Sophia Malone, and you're watching History. Today, I'm going to be Lucille Ball. Get your laugh on! <laughs> Lucille Desiree Ball was born on August 6th, 1911, in Jamestown, New York. Sadly, when Lucy was three, her father died. Lucy and her mom moved in with her grandparents, and soon after, Lucy's little brother, Fred, was born. Lucy was very responsible, and when she turned 10 years old, she was like, I'm going to work. She took any job she could, including selling hot dogs and working at an ice cream shop. Lucy really, like, really wanted to be a performer. She never acted before, and she couldn't dance or sing, but she was sure if she worked hard enough, she could be a star. At age 15, Lucy convinced her mom to let her go to acting school in New York City for a six-week trial even though Lucy tried really hard. School was like, girl, you have no talent. And they sent, sent a note to her mom saying she was wasting money and that Lucy could never be an actress. For the next seven years, Lucy tried to get an acting job but had no luck. Finally, she got cast in a chorus of a Broadway show only to get fired after two rehearsals. Fired, fired, fired. I like you, but my boss doesn't, so fired. When Lucy was 22, she bumped into Sylvia Hollow on the street. <coughs> hey, lady, no smoking! Sylvia was an agent and had just hired a group of girls to work in Hollywood. One had dropped out last minute, so Sylvia was like, Hey, Lucy, want to come with us? And Lucy was like, um, duh! And she grabbed her bags and left for California. In Hollywood, Lucy got a part in a movie called Roman Scandals. She didn't have any lines, but she was in a movie. After that, Lucy had lots of other tiny parts in movies and also took lessons in singing, dancing, and doing hair makeup. She didn't think she was very pretty or good at singing or dancing, so she came up with an awesome plan. She was like, hmm, I want to be super silly and they'll have to give me attention. I'm a genius. She got a contract at Columbia Pictures and was earning $75 a week. But pretty soon, the Great Depression happened and many people lost their jobs and money. Columbia Pictures had to fire many actors, including Lucy. In 1940, Lucy was cast in the musical Too Many Girls, where she co-starred with Desney Arnaz. He was like, I'm from Cuba and I play the guitar. Lucy and Desi quickly fell in love, and on November 30th of 1940, they got married. Desi traveled a lot for his job, and Lucy worked in Hollywood, so they didn't get really get to see each other much. In order to spend time together, Lucy and Desi created an act with songs they could perform together. In 1942, Lucy was cast in her first color, first color movie. Dubari was a lady. Lucy's hairstylist dyed her blonde hair a strawberry pink color so she would stand out. Lucy was like, whoa, my hair looks strawberry. I'm keeping this. After World War II ended, Lucy took a lead role in a radio comedy show called My Favorite Husband. This show got the attention of CBS, a TV network that wanted to turn it into a TV show. Lucy wanted Desi to play her husband in the show, but CBS was like, who, him? Nah. But after CBS saw Lucy's, Lucy's and Desi's funny routine songs, they were like, just kidding, we want you both. Lucy and Desi formed a production company called Desi Lou Productions, and they were in charge of a show called I Love Lucy. In the show, Lucy and Desi played Lucy and Ricky Ricardo and lived in New York City. Every episode she showed Lucy getting herself into silly and crazy situations, and she would try to fix the best before her husband came home. On July 17, 1951, Desi and Lucy had a daughter named Lucy Desiree Arnaz. On Monday, October 15, 1951, the first episode of I Love Lucy aired on TV. By spring 1952, it was the highest rated show on TV. When Lucy got pregnant again, she was like, Yo, CBS, what do you think of us working my pregnancy in the show? But the network said, No way, we don't want a pregnant woman on TV. In the, the end, Lucy won, and it was the first pregnancy ever shown on television. 
Both on TV and in real life, Lucy had a baby boy on January 19, 1953, named Desi Arnaz Jr. In 1957, they filmed the last episode of I Love Lucy. In 1960, Lucy and Desi got a divorce. Lucy started her own show, The Lucy Show, and everybody was so happy she came back to TV. One month after starting the new show, Lucy bought Desi's part of the production company and became the president of Desi Lou. Lucy was the first woman ever to run a major production company. In July 1967, Lucy was like, I'm done being the boss, and sold Desi Lou to Paramount Pictures for $17 million. Ratings for Lucy's new show were failing, so she, and so she aired her last episode in March 1974. On April 26, 1989, Lucille passed away. On May 8, 1989, people around the country had a moment of silence during her old TV show slot to celebrate her life. On TV and the internet, reruns of I Love Lucy, The Lucy Show, and Here's Lucy, So Make People Laugh. The shows have been seen in 80 countries and translated into 21 languages. Lucy was truly the queen of comedy. And the rest, you us. The rest, that's history. Thanks for laughing. <laughs>